guys, Jennifer, aka Creole Azucar here, and I am back with another video. Um, forgive me if you can hear birds chirping, cars passing by, but I do have my window open today. Um, this video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be an empties video. I do have quite a few, um, just because it's been so many months since I have done one. And I've still been holding on to all my empties. However, it's not like an extreme amount. I know I've been gone for a while, but um, I have been a lazy natural lately. And so I have not been going through as many products as you may think. So um, I'm just going to show you what I have gone through. I'll give you a brief, a brief synopsis if I have not done a full review on my channel. If you want a full review of some of these products or you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos. I will be uploading on Tuesdays and Fridays and let's just jump right in. First product that I have gone through is the Blue Rose Beauty, <clears throat> excuse me, Chai Hair Tea. And my favorite way to use this product is if I have straightened my hair and I'm going back to curly, I will put this on my dry straight hair um, as a pre-poo. So I love this stuff. This smells amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you love chai tea, you'll love the smell. But it's really, really moisturizing. Get your curls popping. Of course, you can use this as a deep conditioner as well and the packaging is different so don't be surprised if you go look it up and it's different she has white caps now and more opaque labels but this is an excellent product um and i can't remember whether or not i have a review of this on my channel i'll try to link it down below if i do um the next thing i have is the anita grant whipped butter and this is in the scent lemon sponge and it's not completely empty, but I think um, it went bad on me. I have had it for a while. It's just, I can tell by the smell. But this is my second favorite butter next to the uh, main choice butter. Can you see that? It just emulsifies down so quickly, so amazingly. And I just love it. It's not heavy on the hair. Gives your hair a nice shine and it definitely locks in the moisture. It is kind of pricey. This company is out of the UK. But if you're looking for a new butter, um, you will love this stuff. And again, the brand is Anita Grant. The next product I have is from Hair Veda. It is the Curl and Wave Whipped Jelly. Um, I have used this um, just for wash and goes and probably to slick like one ponytail back. Excuse the aircraft. They have no manners. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's an airport literally like four blocks that way. So anyway. Um, yeah, this stuff was okay. Um, it smells good. It's a little bit perfumey, but it's really good. But for the price and what you get, this is definitely worth it the money. Next, I have two Trader Joe's conditioners that I have used up. These are the Tea Tree Tingle Conditioners. When I first tried this, I wasn't really feeling it, but as you can tell now, clearly I love it. Hopefully you have a Trader Joe's near you. If you do, you should definitely pick this up. It's about $4 a bottle and you get 16 ounces. It's a really, there might be a little bit in here. It's a really nice consistency really um good slip it does make your hair tingle it'll make your scalp tingle rather um the smell is not overpowering at all it's more of like a minty smell as opposed to like that strict like tea tree in your face smell so i really really like it and i think it would be good for all hair types if you're able to get your hands on it i would definitely say to try it out also from that same line, I have the shampoo. This is the Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. Um, this is the shampoo that I usually use every wash day unless I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do, which is washing my hair every week. Lately, it has been every two weeks, so I really need to 
really clean my hair. My scalp needs some love. So I do use this almost every wash day. But it is amazing. It will get your hair squeaky clean without it feeling stripped. Um, it definitely is not going to help detangle your hair. Um, more so like a moisturizing shampoo would. But your hair will be clean. Your scalp will be clean. And it is really, really nice. Um, I have my Camille Rose Curl Maker. Mm, this was the pink one. The one before the formula she has now, my beloved. So that is gone. Um, let's see. I have a, oh, two of the Mayo Organics. Um, Dewberry Co-Wash. Y'all know I love this stuff. Um, I do have a full review on it and how to use it because I do think with this product there is a learning curve. It is very easy to use way too much of this and you'll go through half or three-fourths of the bottle on one use if you don't know how to use this stuff because it is so, so thin. I don't know if you can tell, um, but it's really, really thin, so you really have to be careful. You have to just kind of coat your hair with it, um, trust that your hair is coated, leave it on for a little bit, Add a little bit of water and then go from there. But I love this stuff. I have um, the vitamins. These I have not been taking regularly. So I know this is from a long time ago. But I do recommend these vitamins. I didn't have any breakouts whatsoever. Definitely saw her um, hair growth. And yeah, I definitely recommend them if you're looking for a hair vitamin. Um, I have the Babasu Deep Conditioner from My Yellow Organics. I love this stuff. If you have not tried this, I don't know what you're waiting for. Pause my video and go to Target or Sally's or place an online order for this stuff. I have another co-wash from her and another co-wash from her. So that's four in about eight months maybe um let's see i have a body wash from oh my gosh why am i drawing a blank hold on people bubble bistro sorry i have more in my cabinet from bubble bistro this is actually the only body wash that i use is from her company because it has no sulfates but it does still lather um and they smell really good there's a such a wide range of scents. You will find something that you like. It is a little bit pricey, but a little bit goes a long way. So I definitely recommend Bubble Bistro Body Washes. I have the Serenity um, Scrub. This was in Sheer Essence. Um, Sheer Essence. It's more like a manly kind of cologne smell. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm not the best when it comes to describing smells. But this is the only scrub that I use now to exfoliate. And I also use this on my youngest son. Um, he has eczema and it works amazing for him. For him, I get the Juicy Melon. So she's another one with a wide range of scents. You definitely get what you pay for. And it's definitely worth the price tag because a little goes a long way. It's not very greasy at all. It's just like sugary but the oils are definitely in there so this is really 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 good um i have the bell nuvo coco castor nectar been using this for quite a while if you've been following my channel <clears throat> excuse me you know that i do like this a lot um i went looking for it recently and couldn't find it um but i do like it um next i have the um she sent an avocado conditioner. Y'all know I love this stuff. I will forever use it. So there's that. Um, I have another Myel Organics Vitamins. I have the Lush Tea Tree Water. I live by this. I have another one right here on my countertop. I live by this stuff. It is not overwhelming as far as the smell, as far as like if tea tree kind of puts you off. This is not um, like overwhelming in your face at all. Um, let me smell it. I use it as a, yeah, no, it's not overpowering. I use it as a toner. I use it like if I just wake up on a Saturday 
and I don't want to wash my face or something, I'll just, you know, use that with a cotton round. I'll just spritz it on my face. Um, I really, really like it. It is pricey, but it does last a very long time. I have the She Scented Okra Reconstructive Conditioner. This would be considered a protein conditioner. I don't consider it a protein treatment. I don't think it has that much protein in it, but it's definitely a, pro a very high concentrated protein conditioner. Smells amazing. It's moisturizing. You will not need to follow up with the moisturizing conditioner after you use this. I really, really like it. Um, I have another Myel co-wash. Um, my beloved lemongrass leave-in. Actually, I have two of those. Empty. So, you guys know I love this stuff. Live for it. Die by it. I use it as my refresher. As well as um, a leave-in underneath my cream leave-in. I have another Babasu deep conditioner. Let's see. I'm getting kind of towards the bottom here. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. All out the frame on y'all. Anyway, I have another LK Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In. Um, I'm telling you, I love this stuff. I do dilute it. Um, I said that in a previous video. Um, just because of how I use it and it's too thick otherwise. Uh, let's see. I do have some like body care stuff in here too. Um, I have a Myo Organics White Peony Leave-In. I do like this as well. This is just like hands down my favorite. And it's just like a tiny bit above this one. So don't think that you can't do one or the other. You definitely can. I just like this one because as a refresher, there is no other in my opinion. When I'm refreshing my wash and goes, just the level of moisture that it gives. And I don't have to spray a lot. I can just kind of manipulate it real quick to um, how I want to style it, you know on day two, three, four, and five. Um, from Cream and Cocoa, I have their um, Lotus Petal Dew, and I do use this every day. This is in their Feminine Care line. I love this stuff. Um, oh, and I have some makeup stuff too. Okay, this is the Curls Curl Ecstasy Hair Tea Conditioner. This was a sample that I got from them. I was only able to get one use out of it. And I have been dying to try this. And I was not that impressed. It was like, meh. It was a very kind of whatever-ish deep conditioner. So, um, this is from Bubble Bee Show as well. Body wash. I love all her body washes. Um, I had the Clean and Clear Deep Cleaning Astringent. I think I have another one. I don't know. This is my Neutrogena. But I always have an astringent on hand just because I'm very oily. So when I'm super duper oily and annoyed or if I'm having like a huge breakout, I want an astringent as opposed to like my tea tree water from Lush. I want something strong that's really going to strip everything down and really deep clean. Um, I have the Wen Pomegranate Replenishing Treatment. This is just a mist that I would just... I don't think there's anything left. Spray like all over my face before I went to bed or spray my pillow or something like this. I would not say it's like worth the money. Sometimes you can get a really good deal on QVC with like five of them, maybe for 20 something dollars. So that I think is worth it, but on its own, no ma'am. Um, I have from Handmade Cartel the Hello Honeysuckle Laundry Butter. I don't think they make this scent anymore. It was my favorite. I also preferred the one in the jar as opposed to the bag that I'm going to show you in a minute. The consistency of this was so thick and nice, but this is the only laundry detergent I use. I do not use any like in-store laundry detergent at all because of the surfactants and sulfates. Like, I'm just big on the environment that is just too harsh for our water system and too harsh on your clothes. Your clothes do not need all that. Like, you're not working around asbestos and chemical. Like, it's just too much, in my opinion. It's unnecessary to have something that strong and that stripping on your clothes that you pay a lot of money for and that you need to last a long time. Um, so I also have the pink grapefruit. This one is um, 
it doesn't say grams or ounces, 1.5 quarts. I think this is 40 ounces, I think. And this one is 16. So you get a good amount in here. I have reordered. I have four right now in my laundry room. Again, this is the only one that I use. I use the pink grapefruit, the clean cotton, and the gain. And then the last products I have to share with you is the Urban Decay D-Slick Matte Setting Spray. I do have the full size one as well. Um, so this was the first one that I ever bought and tried. Um, and you know, you just spray it to set your makeup. Again, I'm oily, which is why I have the D-Slick. They do have the all-nighter and then they have like a cooling one as well. And you sh definitely should always set your makeup, especially if you live in my hot ass humid city. So that is all for that. If you have any questions about any of these products, want more information or would love to share your experience with these products, please leave a comment down below. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any uploads. Um, definitely give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful or slightly entertaining. I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching and sorry. And again, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, I welcome your feedback. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.